The next big medical show to hit our screens was The Young Doctors in 1976. And with 1,400 episodes, The Young Doctors was the TV equivalent of bulk billing. More than 2,000 actors appeared in the show, so let's take a look at just some of those faces. And please welcome from The Young Doctors, Mark Holden, Chris King, Tim Page, and Judy McBurney. Well, Mark, uh, we spoke to you in LA not long ago. We did, yes. And you announced then that you were coming home. And I did, true to my word. Good to be back. It's great to be back. Thanks, Peter. Of course, you were a big singing sensation in, in the 70s. But not an actor. So how did you get the part in this, uh, in this series? Quite honestly, I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure which end of the stethoscope to do what with, to be perfectly honest. You had to have a stethoscope around your neck. Or you I'm, I'm, I'm not putting it on a patient with a stethoscope still around my neck. <laughs> <laughs> Very seriously, what was wrong with them? I couldn't put it in my ears. Come in, come in. Come in. <laughs> Chris, you, you played uh, Dennis Jamison, I the did. orderly, because you'd actually been an orderly. Yes, you? I had, at the Royal North Shore Hospital in Sydney. So I knew a little bit about it. Hey, the less you knew on our show, the better, really. <laughs> and uh, Tim, your background was in opera and theatre, not the operating theatre. That's true. So from grand opera to soap opera, and one easy move. Now, Judy, um, you're practically a regular on this show. Yes. You played Nurse Tanya Livingston. Yes. Some of the plot lines were a tad unbelievable, weren't they? Oh. Yeah, oh, yeah. oh, there was one. Can you, uh, can you remember this? Tanya was walking across the road to go to Bunny for a cup of tea or something. She was run over by a truck. She woke up. She was blind. And I said, hang on, I've been run over by a truck. How can I be blind? And they said, it's emotional blindness. And I said, okay. So I was in, <laughs> I was in my hospital Just bed being emotionally blind, staring a lot. It was really good because you can put your scripts up there and read them. <laughs> right. And then I was in my hospital bed and then the phone rang. And, there was, and my, my fiancé at the time, Peter Holland, said, Tanya, I love you. Oh. And I said, oh, 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 oh. tears rolling down my blind eyes. <laughs> I can see. I can see. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. We know, of course, that many famous faces walk through the doors of the Albert Memorial Hospital, and none more familiar than our next guest. I suppose you could call them Beauty and the Beast. Please welcome Abigail and Ugly Dave Gray. <laughs> Abigail, of course, you were the reigning sex queen of the day, the femme fatale of number 96. Mm -hmm. um, oh, there she goes. And look, and they're, and they're amazingly putting clothes on. Uh, so, um, <laughs> That's how I'm hated, I put clothes on, and nobody's ever seen that before. <laughs> of course, romance was, was high on the agenda for just about everyone in this series, mm. except you, wasn't it? Yes, I think they, um, they really made it out that she was in love with Snow Shavathan's character, but mm. she wouldn't ever say so. It would be beneath her dignity to ever. You <laughs> like to be by his bedside, though it's not inside it. <laughs> and Dave, you ran Bunny's Bar across the road, which oh, is already did, featured. Did. Had you done any acting at all before? No, I'd never, never done any acting at all in my life. So the got, the I, criteria were, as long as you didn't know anything about medicine and hadn't acted, that's a good... Yeah, <laughs> that was it. That was basically right. That's about it. Did you take your role seriously, then? Well, Graham Kennedy rang me up. Uh, I'd been doing the show about eight weeks, and he rang me up and he said, I'm doing a pilot for a show called Blankety Blanks. And he said, I'd love you to be in it with me. And I said, I'm an actor now. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, I've seen you, that's why I'm ringing you. <laughs> <You're all laughs> <laughs> so how did they get, uh, get you out of the series? Well, I went to the 
producer and I said, I want to hand in my notice. And they were furious. So I said, this, I've got an idea. Why don't I sell my business and leave town? And then if you want to write me back in in a year's time, you know, I can come back to town again. So they, but no, 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 they were so angry with me, they gave me a coronary. And they, <laughs> they gave me a heart attack and I died. That was a nice way of saying, you can go and get... <laughs> But uh, there was one character who stuck with the young doctors from day one to the very bitter end. She's a TV, radio and theatre legend and she's with us here tonight. Please welcome the godmother of showbiz, Gwen Plum. Yeah. Not a bad, a, a standing ovation at 85. <laughs> I've had better. Well, let me get it all a laugh. I've got to do something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How are you? I'm well. The disorderly orderly. Hey to them. Yeah. <laughs> You're still pretty, Mark. <laughs> You're still beautiful, Gwenny. It's a pleasure to see you again, it really is. I can understand that. <laughs> but, no, it was the most wonderfully happy company. Well, happy. Six and a half mm. years. Yes, it's really and happy. And everybody was. The producers, I'm oh, sorry, <laughs> Peter Luck, is it? Oh, <laughs> Just go on, let's get up here, Gwen. Excuse me. Uh, just wait a minute. And, um, no, it was, I don't know, it was lovely casting. And everybody was great. For instance, um, Gay Waterhouse came in once for a, uh, a part. And this was her first day. And of course, she was terribly nervous. She always are the first day mm. of a show. And she put a hand, her hand was trembling. And I just put my hand on it. And do you know I've backed all the horses ever since? <laughs> She's got lost a lot of money. Put your hand on mine, Gwenny. Oh, that's better. I should have given up the acting. I like horses. Yeah. <laughs> Leave them laughing. So please thank our young and uh, mm -hmm. not so young doctors and the nurses and the hospital staff. Thank you very much.